Welcome to the Materials Training Module. In this module, we will be discussing how to create materials, how to apply materials, and a brief section on material maps. Let's start by opening the Materials tab. Click on the drop-down menu indicated by the black triangle and select Materials Scene. This will open a panel that shows a list of the materials being used by the scene. Right now, there is only one material being used, and that is this gray material you see on the boxes. Now, we will create a new material by going back to the Materials tab and selecting the Create Material icon, and this will create a new material. Now, let's change the color of the new material by right-clicking on it and selecting the Material Properties. With the Material Properties panel open, select the Basic tab. In the Basic tab, you can change the material name, the color, how much transparency, how glossy or shiny it is, and also the reflection. I'm going to select the Diffuse Color. The window that opens here is the Color Picker window, which gives you the ability to visually select a color. You can also expand this window and have the ability to use the sliders for the HSV and the RGB, or you can use the numeric values. There's also an eyedropper, which will allow you to select any color on the screen. That means you can load up an image and actually take a sample from the image that you loaded. Let's just go ahead and select the blue color for now. And then we'll go ahead and close these. Now we're going to rename it. It's a great idea to use a descriptive name while you're naming something. I'm going to call it blue and then close. Now that we've changed the material, all we have to do to apply it is to simply click it, hold it, drag and drop it. So we're going to do that one more time. Just grab this and drop it. You can also apply your material to multiple objects by holding the control key down while selecting the objects and then just drag and drop to the boxes or to an empty area on the screen. I'm going to just drop it on this box. If you want to apply the material to all the objects in the scene, use the control to select all and then just drag the material anywhere in the layout. Deep Exploration comes with a number of materials built into it. To apply these materials, simply go to the menu bar down here and select Materials and then drag and drop these materials onto your objects. I'm going to drag a couple more to show how that works and then zoom up to see the detail. Now let's talk a little bit about textures and how they are mapped onto objects. Let's start by double-clicking on the box, and that will bring up its properties. Then we'll select the UV tab. Next, we'll go over to the materials and double-click on the brick material. This will bring up its properties, and we'll select the maps tab. Now, we'll zoom out a bit so that we can see the box a little more clearly. Basically, the brick pattern is being mapped onto the side of the box using its UV coordinate system, the U being the width and the V being the height. Let's zoom out so that we can see how the brick pattern is being mapped onto the box. The box has six sides, which are represented by these six squares. Over here in the Materials panel, you will see that the UV scale is 20 by 20. Meaning the pattern is being tiled 20 times in the U and 20 times in the V. In order to illustrate this, we will adjust the UV scale so the size of the square that is representing the side of the box is smaller and the brick pattern is taking up more area. Let's change the U scale down to 10. As you can see, the width of the box is now half the size and the pattern is only repeating 10 times in the U. Now let's adjust the V scale down to 10. As you can see, the pattern is now being mapped 10 by 10. 
To illustrate this in more detail, we'll change it to 2 by 2 in the U and the V. Then we'll zoom up on it so we can see what is happening. This side of the box is being represented by two of these textures in the U and two in the V. On the box you can see that the texture map is being mapped two by two. A new feature in Deep Exploration 6 is the ability to show your product with different materials without having to adjust and change things in front of your customer. A great example would be the color of a car. You can show the car with red, blue, white, or whatever color paint schemes you come up with without having to adjust and tweak each of those parameters in front of your customer. Let's start by loading up a car. Come down to the right hand corner and click on Restore. Then click on My 3D Models. Deep Exploration comes with a lot of models and examples. The one we're interested in is the Messerschmitt. Double click on it to load up. With the Messerschmitt loaded, let's close the Objects list and open the Materials list. Let's come down to the Mess Mess material, which is the paint color. Double click on it to open its properties. As you can see, it's the blue color on the car. Now let's close this panel, now that we know for sure it's the paint color, and we'll duplicate the material three times. Right-click on the material and select Duplicate. Then duplicate it again, and one more time. Now I have three copies of that color. Let's start with the first one and open its properties, and we'll change that to a red color. Now we'll close that dialog box and rename it Red. Then select OK. And then on the second copy, open up its properties and we'll change it to a green color. Close that panel and rename it green. Click OK. After opening the final copy, change it to a white color. Close that panel and rename it White. Then select OK. Now we'll go back to the original Mess Mess material and in the shading drop down box select the layered option. Then we'll add our three new colors by selecting the materials drop down and selecting our red color. In the number 2 material, select the green, and in the number 3 material, select the white. Then click OK. Let's give ourselves some more space by collapsing the dialog box down at the bottom. And we'll open up another dialog box by right-clicking on the display bar and selecting Model View and Portfolios. Selecting the top left icon will create a snapshot of the current material on the car. Then in the material list, we will reopen the mess mess material and select activate under the number 2 material. This will apply the new material. Then we'll come back over and create a new snapshot. Then activate the third material. We'll create one more snapshot. Select OK to close the material properties. Now when we're showing off the model to our client, all we have to do is click on the view in the portfolio that we want to show. Select the white one, the green one, and then the red one. This concludes this materials tutorial. Thanks for watching.